Hi guys, Roseanne Zaft here today. It's Friday and we are going to be doing an upper body workout with dumbbells on the vibration platform. I'm here with my Life Pro Power Flow Pros and my Rumblex Pro 4D. So welcome everybody, TJF, wherever you're at. I'm here in Scottsdale, Arizona. Um, we've had a brutal couple, several days and I am... Glad it's the weekend, but I think I'll be hanging out indoors. So if you're wherever you're at, uh, rain or shine, I'm going to give take you through a workout today that's going to be all about the upper bodies. This is a level two workout. On Wednesday, we did a level one for those beginners. And I said to the, the folks on Wednesday, remember, you're only a beginner once. Once you start doing this work, whatever it is, with any of the Life Pro products, Start where you're at, and then over time, slowly increase the duration, whether it's the platform, the weight, whether it's the weights, whatever you, whatever product you're using, start slow, let your body get used to it. But you're only a beginner one time, and then you get more experience, and then you become a seasoned professional. Um, I have 24 years in the health and wellness industry. And uh, I do a lot of different things. I teach strength training to active aging adults just like you that have issues in their tissues. Who doesn't after a certain age? Um, so I, I, I'm really conscious, or I try to be conscious, about making sure you understand the best form possible. Um, as I said, I am here today. I have the, I'm going to bring my camera down just a tiny little bit. Um, I'm here with the Power Flow. Pros, these guys go up to 55 pounds. Now, you can tell I don't lift heavy weight, but I do lift some, some weights. And I, and I love this because I can adjust my weights from 4 to 55 pounds on the fly. And um, make sure you check this out. You've got two more days. There's the Prime Day site-wide sale going on. So all the Life Pro products are on sale up to 20% off on most products, I believe. So check it out. You've got till Sunday. So if there's something you've been thinking about getting, now's the time to get it. Now, when it comes to the, the weights, for, for example, between the power flows that are up to 12 and a half pounds, the power ups that are 15 pounds, the power flow plus go up to 25 pounds, the pros that I have are up to 55 pounds, the... Um, Power, uh, power flow max, right, is 80 pounds. And then the power flow X, brand new ones, are 55 pounds. So there's a variety of weights for you to grab over the weekend on sale. So yes, TJF Friday, Facebook user, I hope you'll join me with this, this workout. If not, remember all the lives that we do, whether it's myself, Amber, or Debbie, we record these. And they are available on YouTube in the Life Pro channel. So make sure you subscribe to that. And that way you get notifications when we are going on live. Uh, all uh, the three of us and as well as other uh, members of the team have a lot of different exercise videos for you. So there's something for everybody, wherever you're at, wherever stage of life you are, however old you are, or whatever issues you have in your tissues, there is a Life Pro product that's going to help you feel better, feel stronger, recover quicker, um, have that better endurance, um, just, just all overall feel great. So let me dive in. I'm going to be showing you 10 exercises today. And actually, I'm going to do a workout. I will be explaining, but I'm going to kind of move through this because this is more of a workout than educational. I have a lot of videos uh, on, the, on the website or on the on YouTube that explain many of these moves, but we're going to go through a workout today. Um, I have a resistance band that comes with most vibration platforms, whatever one. This is, I'm just going to use it for a little bit of arm warm up. Uh, and if you don't have the band, you can use a towel, okay? But I'm not going to use my towel. Also, have handy uh, a yoga block or something that you can rest your head on because there's going to be one exercise that we're going to be laying flat on top of the platform to do chest work, and I don't want your head on the platform, so I'm just going to give you a heads up on that. Have something uh, available that your, your head can rest on. I don't want your head hanging off. So are you ready to dive in? Um, if you have any questions along the way, 
I will try to answer them, but I'm going to be working in this in this uh, flow. So if I don't answer you right away, be rest assured, I promise I will get back to you within the next 24 hours. Either you can uh, type in the chat or private message me on Facebook. We have a, an amazing VIP group if you are a Life Pro user, so you can hit me up there as well. Um, or however, however you can see fit. So Roseanne Zaft, I'm here in Scottsdale, Arizona. I've been doing this stuff for 24 years, strength training, yoga, Pilates, all sorts of things to keep my clients stronger, feeling better as they age, uh, as they're, they, they're aging. So let's begin. Since I have the Rublox Pro 4D, what I'm going to be doing is actually putting on, uh, I think I'm going to start with P2. Okay, I'm just going to go with that program. It's got a lot of variety to it. Uh, if you are on any of the other devices, no worries. Go, they're mostly oscillation. Do a moderate level of vibration, unless you like to go really heavy duty. You know, um, what's the right one? What's the perfect vibration level? What feels good for you? Sometimes less vibration is more imbalance. I'm not going to be doing much balancing today. That's not the whole idea. It's all about upper body. Uh, sometimes most of my high vibration, more stimulation, maybe less reps because you have a lot of vibration in your joints. So you, you can decide this. So um, let's see, what else do I want to tell you? Have water handy if you need to hydrate yourself. And I'm going to turn my platform on. Okay, so we are going to start in P2. I'd probably be working in P2 and then I'll work into P3. And what I'm going to do is start with a warm up. Now, the warm-up I'm going to do is literally I'm going to sit on the platform just while we begin because I want to warm up my shoulders and my arms a bit. Sit comfortably in any place, and I'm going to take my band. And I'm going to kind of pull it apart. So I pull it apart. I can feel my shoulder blades pulling, drawing together. I'm not pinching them. I'm drawing them together and down the back. And as I'm doing this, I'm exhaling all my air and pulling my belly in tight. And we just want to feel some movement into the joint, small movements here for three and two and one. Now I'm going to put my hands in, my thumbs are up. I'm going to reach toward you and I'm going to pull out. And I'm going to do about 10 of these. I want a strong straight arm. My tricep muscles, those are these guys, are contracting. I'm using a lot of my shoulder stabilizers. And I'm going to do about six more of these, pulling the shoulders down, getting that vibration for the platform from the pelvis all the way up into my ribs and up into my shoulders to the crown of my head. Now let's release that, roll your shoulders out. And I'm gonna imagine this is a hat, like or a little halo. I'm gonna circle around my head for five and four and three, two, one. You'll reverse it back and around. You can see how one elbow comes up and one elbow comes down and two more of these. Now, what we'll do is we're gonna, I'm gonna hold on, I'm gonna kind of grip this. I'm gonna make a big circle forward. I'll show you from the side what that looks like. It's like I'm rowing forward, up and around. And I'm gonna do about five of these, and then I'm gonna pull that band apart as I go the reverse. I'm scooping away from my ribs, ears over the shoulders, shoulders over the hips. Great. Now, this move is kind of like um, uh, more of a rowing move. Look where my hands are. They're right at my chest. One elbow forward, one back. Okay, so it's a little bit of front stroke for five, four, three, two, one. Now, the back stroke is just the opposite. Keep your hands to your chest and just let your arm bones pull back. This one always trips a lot of my clients out, but just do the best you can. You can feel your shoulder muscles probably burning a little bit, and that's okay. We're just pushing out any lactic acid, any junk in muscles, and release. So there it is. We just did our warm-up, and it's just a few minutes, so you should feel kind of warm in the shoulders, the biceps, work the triceps. And I want you to open and close your hands a few times just to stretch them out. Be careful when you're lifting your weight. You're not squeezing with your hands. You want to have a firm grip, but not white knuckle it. Let's place the hands on the platform. Let that vibration go up through each arm. Drop one ear to your shoulder, eyes looking toward me, not to the floor. And then bring it back in. Retract your chin and ear. 
to the shoulder. The other ear is pointing up to the ceiling. Feel that nice big stretch. And breathe. We're going to take one big inhale. Stretch those fingers up. Pull the arms back. Open up the chest. And let's dive in. Ten exercises today. Approximately ten reps. Um, if you work with any trainers, you can probably agree. We don't count really well. So if you do an extra rep or two, not a big deal. Quality over count, quantity. So I'm going to lock into, a, I think I'm going to pick 11 pounds today. We're going to do a combination. The first exercise is a bicep and a shoulder press. I do like combining moves. Instead of just isolating one movement, I like to combine them. And I want to make sure I'm going to move my camera up just a bit so I don't get cut off. You don't need to see the bottom of the platform as it's shaking away. And I'm going to take this mat off because we don't need that either. And here's our 11 pound weights. And I'm standing on my platform. Okay, we're going to do a, I call this a W bicep curl. I'm going to bring my arms up, turn the wrist, press up. I don't push up all the way here. That's the neck. I just kind of keep soft elbows. Down and back. So I'm bringing the palms to my shoulders, turning from the wrist joint. Exhale, press out. Inhale, all the way down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Soft knees on your platform as you press and bring it down. Remember, I want you to have a kind of a light grip. I don't know. I'm sure you can't see, but my index fingers are loose. My weight is, my grip is mostly in my pinky fingers, my ring finger, and my middle finger rather than the index finger. And we'll do about four more of these. Exhale, abs tight, shoulders down. And here's three. Bring it up, elbows stay at the side, elbows out to the side. Last two, please. And one more. All the way up and to the sky and down. Great. So you're going to come off your platform. And from here, we're going to take one of the weights back to the cradle. Okay, I know you can't see the cradle, but we're going to, I'm going to bring my camera down. I really probably should adjust for the perfect view. So let me move my camera back so I don't have to be messing too much with things here. Okie doke. All right, here's how it's going to work. We are going to go into a seated tricep ex extension. So I'm going to go for 16 pounds. Dial it in. There we go, 16 pounds. Have a seat. You're not going to be sitting for long, so you can put the mat if you want. I'm going to hold. Oh, I just turned my platform up. That's the one thing about that I tend to <laughs> shut my platform off, but no big deal. So I'm going to start back on. It happens. Not life or death. Okay. I'm holding the weights. One weight with both hands. I'm pushing into the weight. Okay, make sure you have a pretty good grip here. Reach straight up. Okay. Straight to the sky. You're going to bend and reach. Oh, I'm going to get that weight over my head. There we go. Okay, bend and stretch. Inhale. I'm really kind of cockeyed here, aren't I? There I go. Exhale. That's it. Bend and straighten. Elbows hug into the ears. And I really, really, it's funny because I'm watching myself on a big screen. I didn't realize how lopsided I am. That's why you need to have a mirror near you. Okay. Press up. And let's go for six, five. Wow. Check that out. Isn't that funny? Four, you guys can call me on my crap here. Three, two, right to the sky, and one. Come on down. So we're going to go ahead and take that now. Stand up. We're going to go back to 11 pounds. So a quick switch of this weight. 16 was probably my max on that exercise. If you find... It's too much. Quickly dial it down. I'd rather you go uh, lighter and get a great range of motion than go quicker. Now, I've got a wide stance here. I kind of like this wide stance. My knees are soft. The weights are touching each other. I'm going to come up to my chest, 
elbows wide and down. Exhale. And lift up. Think elbows pulling apart. There we go. Remember, only 10 of these. Soft knees and breathe out. You got five to go. Pull it up. Elbows in front. Four. I'm going to show you from the side what this looks like. Three. Two. See how soft my knees are? And one. My elbows are in front of my shoulders. That was 10 with 11 pounds in each hand. Come on down. I'm going to go dial it up again. I think I'm going to go to 13 pounds. We're going to do a narrow row. So uh, when the weight's close to your body, go, you can go a little heavier. When you start going out wider, go a little lighter. Quick okay. switch. So what I like about being able to adjust my weights, it gives me a little break in between, about 30 seconds or so, maybe less. A little bit of muscle recovery time. And then um, I can get back into the exercise. Hey, Mary Beth, glad you can join me. Hope you're having a great day. So in the narrow row, I'm going to go, it's like a, it's called split stance. You see how one foot is in front, one's behind? It doesn't matter which one. And we'll do five reps in one angle, then I'll turn, I'll do five in the other angle, okay? So, soft knees, I'm going to hinge forward. You have to pull your belly in here. My knee, my weights are by my knees, I'm going to pull back. And look down at the platform. I don't want you to lift, lift your chin up. No crank in the neck here. Exhale. And I'm exaggerating that exhale because I do want to get all that air out. Hit it at the top, hold it one more time. Pull. These are for your back muscles as well as your rear deltoids. That's the back of your shoulders. I'm making that quick little transition. Breath in, looking down. Make sure you're not pinching in your neck. I'm pulling back. This last one, I'm going to hold, strike a pose, and release. So that's my narrow rows. Now, I'm going to go into a chest press. So I'm going to quickly shut the machine off because I need to do a little adjustment here so that you can see me. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to pick my platform up, adjust it a wee bit. Again, I want to make sure you can see me. I'm bringing the camera down. A little recovery time for, for the trainer here. <laughs> and I'm going to put this weight, or um, this block, right about here for my head, okay? You can put the, if you have a mat, put it back on. Now I'm going to do a set of chest presses laying down. So I think, oh, I think I could do at least 18 pounds with each hand. But because these weights are a bit bigger, I'm just going to kind of err on the side of caution there. Maybe if I had someone around to help me, I'd do 20, they'd hand me the weights. But I think 18 I each is going to be good. So let's go in here, dial it in. Yep, they start getting heavy, these 18-pound weights. And... Come on down. We're calling this a level two because you can see how you're up and down a lot. Level one, our, our routine there, you're going to be sitting or standing. Not a lot of big, deep movement. So that's really the difference. And a little bit heavier weight, more reps, more uh, um, multitasking, if you will. So I'm going to set it up. I'm going to uh, face away. My butt's going to be on the ground, and I'm going to grab each of these weights. Before I do this, I want to make sure that block's in the right place. So I'm going to see if, yep, I can, I can rest my head here. My shoulders are here. And if, you, if it, it depends on your torso. I don't have a long torso. I can bring my knees up. Okay? So let's do this. I'm going to lay on. I'm going to press the weights up. I'm going to keep my feet down to start with as I turn my palms to face my knees and my elbows just graze the front of the machine and exhale, touch at the top. Breathe in. You can bring one leg up. You can bring the other leg up. 
You decide what works for you. This is a strong move. You're using all your pushy muscles. We've got about six more of these. Drive it up with an exhale. If it works for you, you can keep your feet up or you can keep down. Last three. Last two. I'm going to combine this with one more move since I'm down here. I'm going to hold the weights out together. I'll interlace them a little bit. I'll drop them, not drop them, but I'll bring them toward my chest and push. This is called a tricep press up. Breathe in and press. Abdominals are braced into the spine, pushing into my feet. That's only four. You've got six more. Keep looking over your chest. Last five. Strong push. Soft elbows at the top. Three to go. Are you having some muscle fatigue going on? I sure am. Here's two and one more. Press it up. Bring the weights down carefully. Bring one weight down, the other weight down, and have a seat on the floor. Well, that calls for a stretch. So have a seat. Whew. Shake it out. Take your hands behind your head. That was some heavy weights for that, but again, I was stable. My spine was stable. I was pushing from here, pushing from here, so working all those pushing muscles. Okay, we're going to move forward into a wide row. Now, uh, when I do a wide, wide row, say that 10 times fast, I have to go lighter because my arms are out to the side. It's the opposite of a chest press. So let me dial back down from 18 to 11. If you find that you are in your knees, uh, in your neck, I mean, please go lighter. I think 11 should be fine for me today. Okay, so I'm going to move this block out of the way. I'm going to kick it out of the way. And then I'm going to take one foot forward and one foot, uh, actually, I think I'll kneel on the platform. Hopefully you can kneel. <laughs> If you need to put a cushion under your knee, do it. Now, I'm going to bring my weights right in line with my knee. I'm looking down my toe, and the elbows go wide. Let me just say this really quick. You don't have to come up here. You're in your neck. You go wide out to the side. We're working the back and the shoulders. Okay, let's do it. We're going to do 10 of these. Ready? One, and down. Exhale, two. Think those muscles between the shoulder blades are working as well. Elbows in line with your knees. Push into your foot. You've got five to go. You can always change legs if you want. Keep your back nice and strong here. Great back exercise as well. Last three. Reach it wide. And two. And one. Wow, those are tough. But I don't want that to scare you, okay? You do what you can. So from a wide row, I'm going to do a tricep kick back. I think I'm going to dial it down because I'm going to be going from my hips back. And oh, I am so glad it's the end of the day, end of the work week for me. Well, not the work week. I'm, I do work on Saturdays. But the end of the day, this is a great way to uh, end it, hit the showers, and TGIF with my, with my guy. What plans do you guys have this weekend? Anything fun? Of course, like I said, we're staying in a lot because it's hot. <laughs> okay, now, here's the tricep kickback. So switch the lead leg. That's the one on the front, or the, um, the one that off the platform. And now I'm going to bring my elbows back. I'm going to hinge, okay? Just a little hinge here. Now, what I don't want to do is see the elbow moving, okay? Elbow stay still, look down to the floor, exhale, push back, and in. You want straight arms. Knuckles, push away. Keep that belly pulled in. These are nine pounds each. And I've got five, four, three, strong spine on this, two, and one. Take those weights down. 
kneel on here and just go ahead and grab, look down at the floor, grab your elbows. My toes are touching the floor, so it keeps me balanced. And I'm gonna bend side to side. So we've got two more exercises. I wanna kind of finish with biceps. My fiance has been telling me my biceps are looking pretty puny. Well, I've never had big muscles anyhow, so I'm gonna try to pump them up a little bit for him. <laughs> Okay, so I think, hmm, I think I'll go, I'll try 13 pounds. Again, the word try. If it doesn't work, I can change it. And you, so can you. So I'm going to, 13 pounds, and we are going to kneel down. Okay. One knee, then the other. You don't have to. If you want to stand, it's fine. If you want to sit. Here's what I like about kneeling down. You don't have as much sway in your body. I see people with, at the gym doing bicep curls, and I don't even tell you how ugly it is when I see them really yanking their back. So we're going to do what's called the bicep, a hammer curl with a hitchhiker. My, I'll, I'll start here, and then I turn, and my thumb goes out. So as I come up, I'm rotating. There's two bones in your lower arm that rotate, okay? So sit next, stand nice and tall. Pull your chin in, pull your belly in. Come on up and rotate. The exhale takes you up. You can see how I'm fighting, shifting my body. I have to squeeze my glutes. Up and out. There's my hitchhiker at the top. My shoulder blades are anchored. It feels good. Five more of these guys. When you reach down, you're gonna feel your tricep muscles, the back of the arms contract. There's one, and there's five more. And two, feel it. Belly tight. Three, arms are enclosed. Let me show you what it looks like. Right, let's just like that. Four, and here's our last one. Strike a pose here. That's it. Easy on the grip, bring it down, and you can just set the weights down. So shake things out. You're gonna take your fingertips on the platform and then the heel, the hands, pull your shoulders back. Get some energy going up the forearms here. Perfect timing, I'm in oscillation mode. Oh, it feels good. Now the last exercise, no weights at all. We're gonna do shoulder taps. I wanna make sure my platform is far enough away. So let me put these Bad boys back in their cradle. How do you guys like this workout? Please message me, put it in the chat later on after you've done it. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's something else you want to see that, you know, I'd really like to see more of this and that because I've done separate videos on biceps, triceps, I've done my chest and back. They're there in the library. I'll be happy to send you the link if you can't find it. So I know my platform's going. I'm gonna carefully shift it away a little bit. So I have some room, because I'm gonna go into a plank. Okay, so let me just check this out. My hands are here, yeah, perfect. Okay, so I'm in a nice, strong plank. You can always bend your knees on this, but come on, this is the last exercise, so let's hit this hard. Okay, you're in a plank, and we're gonna alternate shoulder taps. One, hips are still two, this is making my spine really lengthen out. Three, four, belly is nice and tight. Five, six, I don't want to rock a lot. The machine's doing up rocking. Seven, eight, head nice and long So you reach it out. Ten, nine, and here's 10. And what do you know? My machine shut off. What timing? So I'm just gonna go on to a nice lateral shift because it's the Rumblex Pro 4D. Something nice and, ah, let's shake it up a little bit. Let me go maybe about, I think I'll hit it about 40, level 40. I'm gonna have a seat and cross, cross leg here. And I'm going to give a big old eagle wrap, or, or you can call it I Dream a Genie, or you're going to wrap. 
Hands are on your shoulders. You're going to bring those elbows up and down. Exhale. Hey, guys, don't forget, you've got all day today, tomorrow, and Sunday to check out the Life Pro website. It's a prime day uh, site-wide sale on everything. Open up your arms. Thumbs go back. Think about this one. It's like you're on the Titanic and you're on the front of the boat. That's it. And then cross over the other way. Elbows lift up and down, nice and smooth. Let the heart rate come down. This workout does get your heart rate up. And this is the beauty about weight training, men or women. Burns more calories, okay? Because it's going to boost up your metabolism, boost up your heart, which will, um, a higher heart rate, burn more calories, open up. We're going to drop your head down, look to the left, look to the right. Press down gently. Hands are in front of my shoulders, not behind, in front. And I'm going to press into both hands as I take my ear to one side, then the other. Fingertips pointing back. This is that bicep stretch again. Roll the shoulders back. Look over one shoulder. Let your chin, your eyes look further. Retract your chin. Look in the other way. And then I'll hit the tricep stretch. So you're going to nod your chin to your chest. Grab onto the elbows. Push your head back. And just pull those elbows back. I'm going to get a nice stretch in the lats. Remember, you're only a beginner once when it comes to anything that we do in health and fitness. Okay? Take it slow. Easy, uh, Slow and easy wins the race for lasting results. You know, there's nothing worse than think you're going to run five miles when you haven't trained for running even a mile. Same thing with working out. Start with six reps, eight reps, maybe up to 10. The reason I don't do a lot more reps on my platform, especially, it's because of that vibration that's coming from the platform. It's making all those little muscles, the, all the connective tissue, the joints work pretty hard. So you're getting really more bang for your buck. I only did one set of these. You don't really need to go through a couple sets. I mean, you certainly can, but I think one set is sufficient in what we're doing because it's with quality, control, great alignment. So um, let's see what time it is. Yep, it is. I, I try to make these less than 30 minutes, and actually this is where I got the 30-minute mark. I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. Roseanne Zaft. I'm here from Scottsdale, Arizona with the Life Pro team. I have the Rumblex Pro uh, platform, and let's see, is your Rumblex set on platform or what platform? What was that question? You are. Um, you know, right now I'm on lateral when I'm cooling down. I use the P2 for part of the exercise. I use the P3 for part of the exercise. Um, so. Oscillation's great, lateral's great, pulsation's good. You know, I, you know, there's there's science behind a lot of this stuff, but when we're talking about we just want to get energy in the body, do what feels good. That's my MO on things that's doable. If you're shaking too much and you don't, you feel like you can't hold your posture, then then back off. Back off on weight, back off on, on resistance, um, on energy, maybe just do some of the things standing. And then do a few things on the platform. You can always alternate that. But, um, yeah, uh, it, well, I, I have clients that I'll I ask them, like, do you run? No. Well, then don't make that your cardio. Do you like to bike? Yes. Make that your cardio. Do you like to lift weights? No. Well, if you don't, use resistance bands. You know, do what you like to do. But I definitely think incorporating... Uh, the dumbbells, especially, you know, power flow is 12 and a half is the highest level. So if you're brand new, the power flow are a great way to start in your training. But remember, these guys, the power flow pro starts at four pounds. So you can do this whole routine with four pounds and then slowly incrementally build up. Uh, our, our upper body muscles are smaller muscles, so they don't need heavy weight. When I'm working my back with the, the narrow rows, I can go heavier because I'm using my back muscles. When I'm laying down, I can go heavier because I'm, I'm using my pushing muscles. So, you know, you, you'll, you'll find what feels doable. I want you to feel successful every time you do a rep. 
when you feel you're in fatigue, stop. That uh, old adage, no pain, no gain, is history. We want you to feel good, feel successful through this. So, again, I'm starting to sign off, and I got that question. I'm happy to answer any of your questions. Have a wonderful weekend. Um, make sure that you get a little bit of sunshine at least 10, 15 minutes in the day. I'll, I'll head out early in the morning. It's been like 84 to 90 degrees at 4.15 in the morning, 4.30, so I'm out for a very short time. But get some sunshine, drink plenty of fresh water, eat really good good foods. I, uh, I have green smoothie recipes on my YouTube channel, so if you're not familiar, check me out, Roseanne Zaft. I have my own YouTube station that have a lot of other exercises, some on platform, some not, some good healthy recipes as well. So check them out, guys. I'm, I'm happy to share all my uh, 24 years of fitness and health experience with you. So have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you on next Wednesday. We're doing lower body next week, level one and two. Wednesday is lower body level one. Friday is lower body level two. Bye for now.